Right guys, this one's going to be interesting. It's going to give me an opportunity to look at Matthew Stafford's stats for the very first time. Actually, in fact, that's probably a lie. Now, I've looked at him once before, but I you know, I certainly haven't looked at him uh, since being a Super Bowl winner. So with that in mind, today we look at Matthew Stafford, number 27 on the list, and would you believe 27 is my lucky number. A lot of you will know that, some of you won't. It always is. Whenever I see a running back, whenever I see a player on the field wearing 27, making a, a really nice play, it hits me. It hits me more than more than the rest. QB for the Rams, obviously played at the, the Lions for many, many years. Um, couldn't quite get it done. And uh, here he is. The man, the myth, the legend, Matthew Stafford. Let's have a look. Down with us before on top 100? I don't believe so. Yeah, that's... <laughs> He's never been on the list. It's a travesty. Egregious for you guys to let Matthew go. Well, he's been in the league, what, 35 years now? Is that right? Do you have a favorite play from last year? Yeah. He talks about that no-look pass. Yeah, um, favorite play from last year. Never be... What? <sighs> it's getting forgotten about in Detroit. Last year is Not probably anymore. that play. A lot of hours, a lot of trust going into that. Cooper Cut makes the catch. We needed it at that point in the game to get us down there I'll with a chance you to win what. it. Might be the best no-looker we got all year. That was sick. It's just not right. This is Matthew Stafford, who is now just going to take over the game. You talk about being reactive as a quarterback. You take what the defense gives you. Is that all the time. Mate, this guy, most yards, most completions, most touchdowns, it might have even been. Super Bowl MVP, the list goes on. But the thing that is so easy to forget, guys, is the fact that who's throwing the ball to him? Who's blocking the quarterback so he has the time to throw the ball? You know, I don't want to take any of the shine off Cooper Cup, but Matthew Stafford, take a bow. I, mean, I think a lot of times he says, screw that, I'm going to take what I want. What do you say? Being reactive as a quarterback, you take what the defense gives you. It's that all the time. And I think a lot of times he says, screw that, I'm going to take what I want. What he does with his eyes and manipulating defense. He's going to move that safety and then wait for Cooper Cup. I'm going to oh, that's this guy this. and I'm going to throw this. Old team. He's had a lot of experience, hasn't he? Where I want to throw it. He got the safety to go the opposite way and turned him all the way around. That, I think, is the special trait of this. Right, I'm going to have to look at that again. The safety. Up. I'm going to move this guy, and I'm going to throw this where I want to throw it. He got the safety to go oh, the nice. opposite way and turned him all the way around. That, I think, is the special trait of this. There was one throw to Robert Woods on a dagger cut. You know, I was for sure the ball was coming to me. Looked off like he was coming to me, and then really ended up just moving the defender and ripping it in there to Robert Woods. No hey, look, you got me, John. <laughs> almost got him. You don't have that throw, let's do it. No look was unbelievable. Man, Stafford is so underrated from just a pure talent perspective. All the sidearm throws and the no look passes, he's been doing those things. I think he's been a top five quarterback since he's been in the league. He just was in Detroit. You don't like to say it, honestly. But it seems to be the truth. Now he's in LA, he's shining, man. It was, you know, kind of like night and day, you know what I'm saying, from what they had before to what they got now. And it him. seems as if he's, he's, he's made that, that switch just in time. You know what I mean? Just in time. Um, three or four more years stuck at Detroit, this may never have happened. His quarterback vision is tremendous. He has a timer in his head that is tremendous. All right, here we go, here we go. Hey, be ready for this one up and down quick, all right? Knowing timing is one thing. I told him to be ready for it quick. Yeah. Great job, I kid. Knowing when it's your time is an even better thing. The 2021 playoffs were Matthew Stafford's time. All the marbles right here, guys. 30 seconds left. For him to keep his poise and not settle to go in overtime, that's why you got a guy like him. He's got Cup running down the hash marks. He reels it in at the 15. You know, he got him to the Super Bowl. He made plays when they needed to make plays. 
Hang in the pocket. Yeah, it's not as if it's an easy an easy run, is it? Um, look, we've only got a minute left. This video's flown by. And what we're going to do is look at his stats. Nick Minute. John Matthew Stafford, would you believe? Matthew must be his, his middle name. Uh, 34 years of age, February 7th, 1988. Six foot three, which is sizable, 220 odd pounds. Went to Georgia from six to eight. That's 2006 to 2008. We haven't really seen too many uh, players play college football that early. Either way, got picked up in the first round of the 20 of the 2009 draft with pick number one. So here's the first first pick on this list. Played at the Lions from 2009 to 2020. Been at the Rams since 2021. Super Bowl champion. NFL Comeback Player of the Year in 2011. Just three short years into the league. Pro Bowl in 2014. One Pro Bowl. One lone Pro Bowl. Wowee. In 2016, he holds the NFL record for the most fourth quarter comebacks in a season. Eight. You're telling me they won at least eight games in 2016? Has he played one postseason match? Yes, he has. Yes, he has. The Detroit Lions have made the postseason three times over his career, the last of which in 2016. After they went six, uh, nine and seven. Nine and seven, I'll take that back. Oh, wow, look at this. Actually, first and foremost, I do want to know about the trade. Stafford started all 16 games in 2020 with the Detroit Lions, finished with 4,084 passing yards, 26 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. On March 18th, 2021, he was traded to the Rams in a package involving Jared Goff, a 2021 third-round pick, and, and two first-round picks in 2022 and 20. 23. Jeez, I don't know about you, but did Jared Goff really want to go to Detroit? Either way, what have we got here? Holy shit! He's five single yards, five yards away from reaching 50,000 career passing yards. Wowee. 182 total games. 182 started. He's got a win-loss draw ratio of 86, 95, and 1. 323 total passing touchdowns to 161 total interceptions. He went 13 and 20 in Detroit in 2009. 13 touchdowns, 20 interceptions. Brings it right back in 2011. Maybe that was like the comeback. Oh no, no, he only played three games in 2010. He must have got injured. We'll look at that. But he did bring it right back. Went 41 touchdowns to 16 interceptions, which is his best ratio thus far. Just because in 2021 with the Los Angeles Rams, he went 41 touchdowns, once again equaling the career high of 2011, with 17 interceptions, which actually led the league as the fewest. So there's a lot to unpack there. There really is. Uh, he's rushed the ball 377 times for 1,241 yards. He's taken 415 sacks. <laughs> 415! Holy shit! The most of which was in uh, 2017 with 47. 47 sacks. 73 fumbles, 35 of them uh, lost. Jeepers Creepers. Played four postseason games in 2021, as we know. Four wins. Super Bowl winning, 98 completions, 140 attempts, at a percentage of 70. Uh, 1,188 passing yards, 9 passing touchdowns, to 3 interceptions. He rushed the ball for 18 attempts during that postseason run for 42 yards, and 2 rushing touchdowns. So he did it when it mattered. You know, he doesn't need a, a huge completion uh, percentage. He doesn't need a huge, you know, he doesn't need a huge um, average, but he, he, does, he, he, he takes the runs when it counts. 7 sacks. In four games, not bad, not bad at all. Anyways, guys, let's have a look at the 2010 season. He injured his right shoulder in the season-opening 1914 loss. Actually, come to think of it, didn't he lead a fourth-quarter drive after after injuring his shoulder? He returned on October 31st in Week 8 and threw for 212 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception to lead the Lions to a 37-25 win. In the next game, he re-injured his right shoulder in the fourth quarter of the Lions' 23-20 overtime loss to the New York Jets after throwing for 240 yards. The Lions announced 
that Dr. James Andrews had performed surgery on Stafford's throwing shoulder, which included an AC joint repair and a clavicle shaving. The surgery ended his 2010 season, leaving the Lions at 1-2 and two in games he started and bringing his career total with the Lions to 3-10. and 10. The Lions finished the 2010 season with a 6-10 and 10 record and missed the playoffs. Right, so I'm assuming that game, that 23-20 overtime loss, was the game that he came back with the injured shoulder. It might not be, but it just might be. Anyways, guys, I reckon that's enough. Let's get back to the video. With confidence and put the ball right on the money. He told us his favorite play was no look pass. Of course he did. Of course he did. Right up the guts. All right, Matthew, you ready for this? This is going to be your game winner right here, buddy. Throws the feed. Back shoulder. Cooper Cup's got it. Touchdown. Yeah! Touchdown. Touchdown, LA. If we weren't playing football, I think we'd still be friends. I love you, man. Whatever happens, I love you. We were both dads to a bunch of little munchkins. Oh. I've just learned so much from him playing alongside of him. He's one of the greats <laughs> in this league. <laughs> Somebody ran up so innocent, man. Like, started crying. So innocent. It's a good year for you, Bulldogs, Super Bowl. That was solid. Who in the Well, I don't know who the Bulldogs are. The only Bulldogs I know are the Canterbury Bulldogs of the NRL in Australia. But either way, guys, maybe he's talking about Georgia. Did he play at Georgia? I might have forgotten that. I think he did, didn't he? Yeah, the Bulldogs won, didn't they? Went to Georgia. There you go. Fucking hell, how did I get that? Jeez, I've got to tap myself on the back for that. Alright guys, we are six, five, yeah, six videos away from uh, actually keeping up with the play once again. I'm pretty proud of that. In the next one, we're looking at Stefan Diggs, wide receiver for the Bulls. The Minneapolis, 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 the Minneapolis, Minneapolis Miracle Man. Triple M, we like to call him. He's a wide receiver for the Bills. It should be good. Thanks for watching, guys. That was an absolute cracker, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.